Hi, I'm Evan. Hi, I'm Kelly. Uh, we're with Augie's Union, now Slow Bloom Coffee Cooperative, United Electric Local 1011. Yeah, you know, we decided to unionize uh, at the be beginning of the pandemic. Uh, you know, our, our company, our bosses, used the a lot of the family rhetoric a lot. And as soon as real problems started to emerge in the pandemic, that rhetoric quickly went away. Uh, and we realized that the best course of action would be to organize our fellow coworkers who we actually had real bonds with, forged through, uh, you know, just working together. Uh, rather than relying on our bosses who would maybe hand out a thing or two every now and then. Yeah, and so from that initial inspiration to unionize from not only working conditions, but the actual belief in ourselves and in each other that we deserve a say over our jobs and a say over our lives and that a union is the right move for every worker in every industry. Um, we began our unionization process and as soon as we came forward, the bosses decided to close the shop and lay off every worker, um, which led us on a, a fight to reclaim our jobs, and that's where UE stepped in. Um, we reached out initially because we were really drawn to the, the really aggressive rank and file democratic stance of United Electric, and uh, they stood out as an organization that um, was really, really well aligned with some of the conclusions that we had drawn and some of the beliefs that we had stepped into as workers and people trying to take control of our lives. And so they stepped in during our unionization process and fought with us and taught us how to fight to get our jobs back. And unfortunately, when those jobs were not able to be replaced, they went with us to the NLRB, were able to win our case and um, eventually help us form Slow Bloom Coffee Cooperative. So at Slow Bloom, we are a worker cooperative and each member has equal ownership in the company. That was really inspired by uh, similar structures that we saw in UE and, and just the sort of democratically led processes that, that happen. Each person really feels like they have a say in what goes on. And um, we, we really hope to uh, sort of embody those values. And our, our future goal really is to sort of use Slow Bloom as a hub for even more local organizing in our area because we know that uh, food service workers around here need it. We know that there are plenty of factories in the Inland Empire that could use organizing. So we're really hoping that this can be sort of a springboard forward into a more uh, hopeful future for, for workers in the Inland Empire. Once again, we couldn't be happier to be working alongside uh, like-minded people who, uh, who have taught us to really like take up the spirit of unionization and, and take up the spirit of coming together with other workers and, and trying to make our lives and our world better. Um, and we're excited to see our city and our region affected by the, the efforts and the lessons that UE has taught us.